The first thing I'd like to do is make sure we can see all of our base components on our app.view file. So at the moment, we've got this uh, blue circle, and I want to replace that with some kind of lab page where we can see all of the base components that we've created so far. So let's do that. We'll be creating lots of sections with some spacing around them. And the first one will be for panels. And let's make that title nice and clear by making it big, bold, and adding some spaces underneath it. Okay, now we can create our first base panel and we'll just put some random text in it. Now we need to actually register that panel because at the moment it's just acting like a diff basically. So let's create a new base panel.vue.js component. Let's just write something my panel here and we'll register it on our app.view. Okay, so now we can see that this is actually referring to our new component. So we're going to head over to the base panel component and start our work here. So the first thing we want to do is obviously replace that text with whatever we put inside our component. So using the slot tag, and we're going to style that wrapper a little bit better. So first thing, we're going to make that white. We're going to give it a horizontal padding of six and a vertical padding of four. We're going to make this rounded, large, and give it a medium shadow. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Now, what if I want my panel to kind of be cut in half where this part here will be like a, an image and then the rest here will actually be some text with some padding. Um, so let's try and implement that for now. So I'm just gonna give that one some padding and then create another one underneath base panel. And we're going to have two blocks. The first one will just be an image. So we're just going to simulate an image by having a div with a blue background. And then the second block will just be our text. So we'll some. Okay, so now if we make that flex, and we make sure that this has a width of maybe 64, let's say. And also we need to make our text a flex one. So now this is what we have, right? We have a blue image that kind of takes all of the heights of the text and that's 64. So no matter how kind of big the page is, it's gonna be always 64 and this is gonna take the rest of the space available. So now ideally we want that padding around the panel to be only for that text and that image to be just completely glued to the border of our panel. So in order to do that, we need to add an option that says, I want to create a panel, but I don't want you to add the padding, I'll take care of it myself. So we'll do that by adding a no padding option. Now let's make that work in our base panel component. No padding. It will be a Boolean. And now that's fairly simple. We just need to make sure that these classes are only applied when the no padding option is not provided. So class Okay, so now we've removed our outer padding. Something you might have noticed now is that the blue image doesn't have rounded corners anymore. Um, and that's because it sits on top of its container, which itself has rounded corners. So in order for us to keep those rounded corners for the blue image, we need to add a overflow hidden class. And I would magically make sure that everything kind of fits within those rounded corners. Now, all that's left to do for that panel is to re-add our padding, but only for the element that contains this text. So we're going to go here and add our horizontal padding of six and vertical padding of four again. Oh. And we should have what we wanted. 
Uh, I'm just going to reduce the text a little bit because it's quite big. Yeah, that will do. Okay, so for the last panel of this episode, I'd like to create one that accepts a title and a subtitle. So we're just going to create a new base panel. With some text uh, in the middle. We can see it here. But now I wanted to accept a title, which will be my title for now. And a subtitle, which would typically contain some metadata. Okay, let's implement that. First, we need to add those props. So title will be a string and the same goes for sub. Then we add our title here as an h1, the text title, and then our subtitle as a simple div. Okay, so our hot reloading seems to be blocked, so let's refresh it. Okay, and now we see my title and some metadata. Now let's style those. So we're going to give the title a darker color and we're going to make it a little bit bigger. For the subtitle, we're going to make it smaller and a little bit lighter. And also I would like the metadata to actually be uppercase. So let's try that. Uppercase, yeah, need to have a wider tracking. Which one is it? Yeah, white, yeah, that's better. And let's make it a bit bolder as well, semi-bold. Okay, finally, I want to make sure there is enough gap between the title and the subtitle. So let's add empty one here. And obviously the whole title subtitle thing is way too close to the text. So let's wrap that in a div and we'll give it a margin bottom of eight. Okay, so that's much nicer. I'm pleased with it. Uh, the only thing is now if you scroll up and see our first panel, uh, you can see that we've got obviously that margin eight here, which is being added for no reason. So we'll just add a VF title here to make sure that this margin is only applied if a title was provided. And now everything works fine. Okay, so that was our first base component. And in the next episode, we'll be implementing buttons.